If 16x plus 20 raised to the power x is equal to 25 raised to the power x, then find the value of x. Hello everyone, welcome to our math class. In our class today, we are going to find the value of x in this exponential equation. We are going to find the value of x. But before we do that, kindly like, share, and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe so as to get a regular update of our daily video once they are uploaded. Remember, our subscription is absolutely free. Thank you. Now let's solve this question. To solve this question, we are going to look at uh, we are going to look at how to simplify uh, the equation. We we'll divide both sides by 25. That will give us 16 raised to the power x divided by 25 raised to the power x. Uh, that will give us plus 20 raised to the power x divided by 25 raised to the power x. And this will be equal to 25 raised to the power x divided by 25 raised to the power x. So x, well, 25 will clear 25 over here and we'll be left with what? 1. And here, over here, we'll have uh, uh, 20 over 25 all to the power of x, which is a common power. And over here, we'll have 16 uh, over 25, same all to the power of x plus. So we are going to simplify for that. 16 raised to power, 16 is equal to um, 4 raised to power 2. So we'll have uh, 4 raised to power 2 all over 5 raised to power 2 is 25, all in bracket x plus this over here, this can go, uh, uh, 2 can go here uh, to give us 5 will go here to give us 4 and 5 is common here to give us what 5 so over here we'll have uh, 4 over 5 all in bracket x and this will be equal to 1 so we'll find how we'll continue to reduce this uh, this equation until we come to a substantial value this will now give us uh, 4 over 5 uh, square all to the uh, bracket of uh, x plus 4 over 5 raised to power x and that will be equal to 1. Now recall an indices equation that if we have uh, a value uh, such that we will have a value a raised to power m all in bracket n it can still be equal to a raised to the power n, all in bracket m. We we'll apply that here to solve this equation. If we we'll apply that here, we are going to have, uh, finally, we are going to have our 4 over 5 raised to the power square x, all in what? All in square plus 4 over 5 square uh, raised to the power x equal to 1. Now, having seen this now, we can now say we should let uh, 4 raised to the power 4 over 5 raised to the power x to be equal to a value. Let's assume the value is what the value is m. If we do that, we are going to have over here uh, m squared plus uh, m and that will be equal to 1. If 1 comes over here, we'll have our m square plus our m minus 1. That will be equal to what? 0. So this is a quadratic what? equation. Now, having this quadratic equation, all we need to do is to solve that equation quadratically. And to solve that equation quadratically, we're going to apply a quadratic formula, which is plus... Uh, uh, plus uh, b plus or minus square root of uh, 2a square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So 
In this regard, we'll have our A to be equal to 1, we'll have our B to be equal to 1, and our C will be equal to minus 1, which is what at this value. So, uh, substituting that into that uh, quadratic uh, equation, we are going to have um, we are going to have a solution m to be equal to um, minus one plus or minus square root of one square minus four minus four times one times bracket minus one and this will be over two times one so this will give us uh, minus one plus or minus square root of one minus minus times minus will give us plus four times one will give us what four that will be plus what plus four all over what two and that will give us the value of m so if we simplify further, we are going to have our m to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 all over what 2. So this will give us our m to be equal to two solutions, minus 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 plus and uh, minus 1 minus square root of what? 5 all over what? 2. So we have two solutions to this uh, 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 quadratic uh, equation. To finally get our solution, remember we said uh, our 4 over 5 raised to power, we said our 4 over 5 we said uh, 4 over 5 raised to power x is equal to what m. So if we have this value as the values of m, we can easily apply them and then use that to solve our equation. So that means we'll have uh, 4 over 5 raised to power x can be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and then the next equation will have our 4 over 5 all square can be equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over a 2. These are the two solutions we'll be having for that uh, quadratic equation. Now, if we look at that solution very well, you come to see that this solution will give us a negative what? It will give us a negative solution. And uh, that will be the solution. The answer to this will be less than zero, which is a non-root result or an imaginary result. So we are going to what? are going to leave that and then we'll work with the positive what? Solution. To work with that positive solution, will have a uh, 4 over x raised to power x to be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So we take the natural log of both sides to solve for that. We'll have our in of 4 over 5 raised to power x equal to in of minus 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. So this will give us our x in of 4 over 5 and this will be equal to in of minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So this will now give us, uh, if we divide both sides by in of 4 over 5, we'll have uh, divide here by in of 4 over 5. I'll divide here by in of 4 over 5. This will clear this, and then we'll have our x to be equal to 
we'll have our x to be equal to the in of minus 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 over in of 4 over 5. So this is the solution to that uh, uh, exponential equation. I know you like this video. If you like this video, kindly uh, share with your friends and subscribe to this channel for a subsequent uh, video. Thank you so much for watching.